Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the peak inverse voltage numerical value and that is the numerical number 5 and so let's start with the reading of the numericals. So what is saying? So it is saying actually determine the output DC voltage. What is saying determine the output DC voltage and it is saying peak to peak ripple and then peak inverse voltage. So three things we have to find but ultimately we have to go for the peak inverse voltage. Okay. So I have already told you about the 12 pulse converter and we have discussed so many formula and these formulas are going to be uh, used here. So actually they are actually interrelated. Firstly, we have found the VD and the VM in terms of the VD, then uh, peak inverse voltage in the terms of the VD, okay, in terms of the VM, and then uh, we have found the PPR in the terms of the VD, okay. So these are actually the interrelated, then uh, we are actually going to use them. So it is given that it is on the secondary side and of the converter of the transformer, and that is on the 320, uh, 200 kilovolt, and that is actually the RMS value. So let's start with the solution. So I can say the peak value of the phase voltage that is a 200 kilo volt upon root 3 and root 2. So actually this is uh, this is the line voltage. This is the line voltage and we have to find the phase voltage. So firstly we have to convert into the phase voltage then you have to divide with the root 3. Then it will be converted into uh, phase voltage but we need the peak value then we have to multiply by the root 2 again okay that's why we have used the multiplication of the root 2 and you are going to after the calculation you are going to 163.2 kilovolt so please check the answer okay now now we will move for the second one that is the vd this is actually the vm i can say and this is the vm that is the 163.2 so i can say the vm or the peak value okay vm or em you can say so vd is equal to 3.304 into vm we have already found in the derivation of that and that is a 539 kilovolt is uh, going to be found so just you have to remember these uh, coefficient or uh, you can say the parameter values which is written because direct questions can be framed from this so you uh, do not uh, use uh, do not have to use you can say the derivation okay every time so that is actually the time taking so that's why we are using the we are remembering these formulas now we are moving for the ppr if you talk about the ppr that is the peak to peak rip so ppr what is the ppr that is actually peak to peak ripple peak to peak ripple peak to peak ripple so if i talk about the peak to peak ripple and that is actually 0.0345 vd and you can uh, check from the previous lectures which i have already told you about that and then you have to put the values that is 0.0345 vd so we have actually used uh, uh, with the pi by 4 then we have subtracted with the pi by 3 okay and then some values came and that was the in terms of vm then you have to use in the terms of the vd okay now if we if you talk about uh, that actually come into vm and then you have to convert in terms of the vd and that is the vd value so that factor actually is 0.0345 and that is the vd so multiply them and you are going to get 18.6 kilo volt now if i talk about the peak inverse voltage that is the pib value so just you have to remember this also okay and uh, please go through if you are not remembering that formula so please go through these like uh, lecture of uh, 12 pulse converter okay and which actually i have covered before the numerical uh, have started so after the multiplication of the with the vd and this values you are going to get 382 kilovolt so i hope you have understood up to these uh, numericals so tata bye bye and thank you